We're certainly seeing a lot of innovation in the L&D space around technology, which we've spoken about. Are you seeing innovation happen in any other areas in L&D? Uh, interesting. Um, <laughs> yes, and this is the thing. Um, when you think about, um, let me ask you this. Do you use Pandora? Yep. Okay. Do you use Netflix? Yep. Okay. Do you use Airbnb? Have you? Yep. How about Uber? Yep. I came here at Uber <laughs> today. Um, so when you think about it, individual individuals, let's start with Pandora. Someone reimagined radio and brought us Pandora. Someone reimagined Blockbuster. I don't know if you guys remember Blockbuster. That was on every corner. It was the biggest thing. We used to run and get our DVDs. They reimagined Blockbuster and gave us Netflix. Uh, someone reimagined uh, hotels and brought us Airbnb. You know, someone reimagined the taxi and brought us Uber. Michael Dell reimagined computer design and brought us custom computer assembly. So the notion that you can reimagine something and not just um, think about having to develop to develop a product, if you will, and then the learning space, in the context of the learning space, it's uh, develop content to be innovation, innovative. Um, that notion was kind of dispelled with Larry Keeley's 10 types of innovation. So, um, in, in, in your audience, you check it out, Larry Keeley's 10 types of innovation. Um, and so what we've been able to do within that, those 10 types of innovation, there's three things that we've called from that, if you will. One is structure, process, and branding. Structure in that we've taken a look at our hard and soft assets, meaning our human assets, um, we've taken a look at our equipment and things and looked at, okay, how can we streamline? Um, how can we upskill in terms of our talent? How can we streamline our equipment and platforms and technology and things like that? In terms of process, well, what do we need to do to codify um, the things that we're doing and best practices that are working well so that they're repeatable, right? If people are all the time having to kind of reinvent what they're doing, when they're doing, how they're doing, that's wasting time. So process helps us be more efficient. So that's two. Third one is branding. How are we communicating our value proposition, our brand pop proposition to our customers, our employees, and our partners? So doing a better job at clearly communicating um, our value, our position, how our commitment, our delivery. Uh, those are the three ways, additional ways, that we've been able to innovate, um, which, which aligns with a lot of the work that, that, that Larry Keeley has done. And so we've seen uh, great results out of that in that we've, we have discovered, we've had an a, a, a independent evaluation of our learning organization, and um, we're pretty efficient. And as a result of doing at least these three things, focusing on our structure, our process, and our brand. These are three additional ways you can innovate. Um, we've seen great progress in, in, in helping um, improve the health of our organization.